What's going on, everybody? You guys saw a little bit of the JJ All Star show. I wanted to do more recording, but I did a lot of talking with people and stuff coming to the table. I really wasn't planning on buying anything today. And believe it or not, I only bought this one card from the show. And I'll talk a little bit about the show real quick. Yeah, with the first day of hunting season, there was a lot less traffic in there. So, hoping next week uh, we do a little more in traffic. I decided I'll set up there again on the 10th of December. So if you guys are up that way, stop by. Say hello as always. Let's see. Uh, look like next year, the first part of the year in January, I'll do that show in Indiana up in Martinsville. And then I'm going to be confirmed for the June show for the Midwest Monster setup. Uh-oh, look out. huh? Um, overall, really good show with traffic. A lot of people were interested in a lot of the stuff I had. Um, I still get the famous question, what would you take for this? How low will you go? All this stuff. i just been pushing that stuff off and trying to force people to understand. Trying to find this stuff is very, very hard. And a lot of times, yeah, that last comp could be mine or somebody else's that buy it low. And I'll buy every other copy of that card at that price. But so I think it's time for sellers to start retaking control of some of this stuff out there and not trying to sell their whole table at 50% off just so they can go out of there and stuff. It, it was insane. What I've seen in shows in the past six months. But overall, very good show. I appreciate it. Uh, Jeff, he got me in last minute up in there uh, from feeling a lot better. So really, like I said, really good show. It was fun. You guys want to see some of the pickups? This is the only card I bought. This was off of a friend of mine, Rob. He picked it up, bought it for what he paid for it. Larry Bird Auto, still sealed by Panini. Uh, I'm going to look it over. Might send it off to be graded since it's still sealed by Panini. Um, possibly maybe get that 9 on to it and stuff like that. But Oh, there's the number. It's out of 49. Out of 49. So, no, yes, I know. Another Larry Bird Auto. So, I was at the show. A uh, buddy of mine, I, I don't know if he wants me to say much about it, but uh, he started his own um, card business. Not really a shop love. It's going to be online where he... Uh, had that offer me to come up and look through a collection he picked up he's been buying a lot of collections you know the idea is he has the same mentality as me is you get bought pay into the collection you want to hurry up and get that money back and the rest of the stuff you know piddle paddle with grading and you can hold on to to try to make your profits later and really good setup um i know he's good to say he has a lot of work to do up there on to it it's it's gonna always be a lot of work and i i think he is going to be the one person out there. I only know one other person I would say was very successful in doing this, but he started way a long time ago. I think he'll be very successful with what his, um, I guess you could say his vision is for it and how he's going to buy the collections, piece them out, how they're going to go out over time and, you know, not try to look like, hey, I got to, you know, hold everything for max profits. It's a good business plan, very good business plan. If he allows, eventually, I'll put his eBay up. You guys would be surprised at some of the stuff I got to see today. And this was just stuff that wasn't even at his house. Um, it was in his office, and it was it was just crazy seeing a lot of this. So he offered me some stuff today. And Wildcat, if you're watching, you're going to have to wait to the very end for the only football card that I bought. But I'm telling you, it'll be well worth it when you see it, okay? A lot of this stuff probably be gone very quickly. It was easier for me to move um, than him trying to go through and, you know, list, get all the stuff for eBay where he's concentrating more on other stuff up there right now. So let's take a look. You guys ready? I love a little bit of Alonzo Morning. I always have people wanting Alonzo Morning. So, oh, that's the only one. There's another one in here. I just haven't put the cases on these yet. But Alonzo Morning, this was out of uh, Preferred 2011. Relatively cheap. I think that one was like around 40 bucks uh, value. These are really cool. Out of the Old Tops Tribute, Willie Mays Relic. You wouldn't believe how cheap these are compared to stuff coming out of stuff now like NT iMac. Ridiculous. I think this was going between 30 and 40 The Hank Aaron, believe it or not, is going for what it says there, 44 This was going like 25 30 bucks. We got a Willie Mays Relic. One I don't see much, and believe it or not, it sells for as much as the Willie Mays Relic at $30 to $40, Dizzy Dean. Cool pieces, I just can't believe they're that cheap compared to a lot of the other stuff is. Up next, a little bit more basketball. I told you there was another one, Alonzo Morning. I know, like I said, a lot of people ask me always for Morning, him and Matumbo. So I actually got a couple today. This was a cool relic out of Triple Threads. I want to say it's 2011 12 
Now, if you can tell, it does have some uh, whiting on the back corner here. And this is actually going to go off to somebody. It's a Henderson collector out there. Um, you already know who it's going to be. But it has Lou Brock and each on, but I know you're a Henderson guy, so I picked it up. Figured I'd send it out to you. Kind of like a little early Christmas present. It's nothing really crazy expensive, though. Another guy I know collects Eddie Murray, so I picked this up. Um, really couldn't find a price on it. I think we valued it around $30 or $40 onto it. It's out of $25. Could be more, could be less. It was one of the ones we just had to figure out. Tom Glavin is like a $20 card auto. Who holes last sale 114 tops chrome 85 this is the one that has the uh, late edition on to it mm. Just looking for something on the side here couldn't find it. now here comes some of the more bigger stuff that's really cool wait a minute, I think I'm missing the card out of here maybe I'm not all right up first Tony Gwynn auto pretty cool out of 55 from five star nice bat relic on to it up next another tony Gwynn auto upper deck ultimate signatures out of 24. jackie robinson top sterling out of 25. they're the one out of five did like 160 something and then the other one out ahead of six relics did like 180 ish on it. we figured it's like 120 130 ish pretty cool piece Ty Cobb, this is cool, out of 36. These are priced all over the place. We figured it was about 180, 190 with the average of a lot of the other ones. If you guys know Triple Thirds, it's out of uh, 20, 36 too. They all have like different sayings on here and stuff. And to find exact ones really, really hard. And then Wildcat, my football card, you ready? This is the banger. Tops Triple Threads, numbered out of 27. Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, Steve Young. This would be in a pull of a lifetime now if you would pull something like this with the price ranges on to it. Back in the day, it was like, oh, okay, cool. This is a cool piece, I'm not going to lie. Really glad uh, he departed with that. It was He was trying to hold it, <laughs> and I kind of like wanted to get a hold of that, I think, more for myself than anybody else. You know, I had other people in mind out there watch the video. I think that's something I'm going to hold on to myself. Just because it's just something cool that you're probably not going to see with those three autographs on. Montana, Young, and Rice. I mean, the only other thing would have made this card spectacular would have been if you eliminated Steve Young and put Roger Craig on it. Wouldn't that have been kind of cool, too? Oh, and then I had a little cash and trade. I forgot about this card. It's just a Kenny Pickett PSA 9 Phoenix patch. It'll be something to go off DC Sports just because I'm moving away from the Pickett patch stuff that I have. Oh, and there was one more card. I knew there was one more. I was missing. I just haven't sleeved it up yet. It's, it's like a $5 relic of um, Tony Gwynn back card. But that was everything I went up there and picked up. Really good. I like working with it. We've done some deals in the past, and it's really nice to be able to go up there. I look it up. I He, he looks it up. We agree on to the value of it very easily, and then we just figure out where we need to be at on each card. And how I do it is like what I pay, like what I call top notch on where I'm at, you know, like the 80%. And then like what I pay very, I would say week on versus like anything else, like a 70 percentile, maybe on to it then there's stuff that i wouldn't even pay like 50 40 percent on just because it wouldn't move but we didn't even touch that stuff a lot of times i tell people man just send dc sports or list on ebay you'd get more out of it but again hey i appreciate you letting me come up and seeing everything new up there and that, that office you got it was really cool i really appreciate it um the deal and everything out there rob also thank you for the bird again appreciate it as always he has some cool stuff. His was the stuff in the still pictures I showed with the, like the Luca Black Box 101 and stuff. Um, I wanted to do more video and up there, but I really didn't leave my table until like 1 o'clock. And no joke, I had to go to the bathroom pee, piss, whatever you want to call it. Really bad. I was glad somebody would stay at my table finally just so I can go in there. Oh, man, it was killing me. Um but yeah, I did get home till pretty late after going up there and everything. But really cool to see something like that. Somebody building something from the scratch up. 
I didn't want to do any kind of like videos or pictures. That's invades somebody's privacy, especially when it's not like an open storefront. But really cool to see somebody putting that all together. And, you know, eventually I'll probably want to look at how he's doing some of that stuff. Maybe try to incorporate into like how they're, everybody's doing like this eBay stuff where it's a CSV file over, yada, yada, yada. I know I'm probably boring y'all. But that was it. I mean, pretty good show overall. I uh, just wanted to give everybody a heads up. I'll be at the Derby City next Sunday or Saturday for the show. Be a lot of fresh stuff. Just some PSA rolling in there. Then we got the Whatnot Card Show Sunday. I believe I go on 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. One giveaway of a $100 card will be out there. So if you guys want to come by for that. And then December 10th back at J&J. January, it's a Sunday before uh, Martin Luther King Day. I think it's the 14th, 15th, something like that. I'll be in Martinsville, Indiana. And then confirm me for June setting up Midwest Monster. Bigger show. Haven't done one in many, many years. All right, guys, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I wanted to show you guys some of the cool pickups, stuff that's still out there. I can't believe how cheap it is compared to the newer stuff where it's selling at. Insane. And this stuff was harder to pull back in the day. All right, guys, I'm out. Catch you next one.